Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm very excited to share with you my first ever um, shabby cuff. I have just become obsessed lately with wearable art, and I've been playing around with so many ideas, and I had a big beautiful pile of Angel Dream Crafts um, product, and it lends itself perfectly to this cuff. So I started actually with one of my snippet roll bases, so it's quilted and quite beautiful, made with very, very pretty fabrics. And then uh, this is a gathered uh, lace. Um, it's an embroidered mesh that I gathered from Angel Dream Crafts. Um, that's what's on top. This is one of her beautiful English Clooney laces that I used for the bottom. It's just pretty. I gathered it up and I love how it lays. And this is actually sewn into the snippet uh, base. Then I used this beautiful uh, tool trim that she has in several different colors. And I used that same tool trim here. I just cut it in half so it would be shorter on top. And then I added some uh, flat back pearl uh, trim. Then these beautiful gold roses from the trim that never ends that I know that Kim is out of at the moment, but she does have uh, another rose trim in white that's just as beautiful and goes just as far. And she is trying to get more of that in the shop. And then this beautiful uh, cameo dangle surrounded by pearls is also from her shop. And I couldn't be more in love with this. I made it uh, with ties, that way it could fill, uh, fit different sized a wrist because you know I am new to this so I wasn't sure and I was looking at different closures and I thought really the best closure is going to be a tie because then it would fit so because I was afraid if I put velcro or buttons how do you know if the fit's going to be right so I chose to do a tie closure and um, you know I am going to play around with some different closures and then the inside is um, I put the snippet roll that I made on both sides. So it's pretty on both sides, so it's beautifully finished. And then you can get a better look at what my snippet roll looks like. I use some really gorgeous fabric and textures for this. And the ribbon ties are also sewn into the base. So it's quite lovely. But I absolutely love how this turned out. It is just so stinking cute. I love it. And like I said, I have the link below uh, to Kim's shop so you can go and get some of these beautiful things and try to make one of your own. And I'd love to know what you think. Um, I had such a good time creating this and I'm looking forward to making some more. <laughs> so I hope everybody's doing well and thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.